Hello Taurus and welcome back to your November 2022 tarot reading. Okay guys, if you could hit the uh, thumbs up button, give me a little boost. And it also helps me to connect with you if you subscribe. And if you click the little notification bell, you'll be told when I upload fresh new videos. Okay guys, as usual I'm going to clarify your general tarot reading with the Kipper cards. And if you stay to the end, you're going to have your angel guidance message for November 2022. And we've got some that have flown out already, so we'll take those. First one is the Eight of Swords. Okay, the Eight of Swords. And the second one was Judgment Card. Okay. The Empress. The Sun card. Three of Swords. Hmm. Two came out there. The Hanged Man. Two of Cups. Final card, the King of Cups, and the energy on the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands there. Okay, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Remember, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Just take the parts that do resonate and leave the rest behind. This is a general collective reading for Taurus. Okay, my lovely Taurians, let's have a look for you. We start off November with the Eight of Swords. Also, this is a predictive tarot reading, so it's predicting into November and into the beginning of December. So let's make sure it's in focus for you guys. And here we go. So the Eight of Swords, there's a decision here. You're making it more complicated. Whatever this is, Taurus, you're making it more complicated than what it is. You're overthinking something here. You're definitely overthinking something here. Because if you see this woman is looking into the mirror and her reflection is showing her that she's tied up. You know, she's blindfolded, tied up. She doesn't know what way to turn. She can't get out of this situation. Whereas in reality, she can just walk away from it. So there's something where you you're feeling you're trapped in or you can't walk away from and it i feel it's a relationship this is a relationship reading because we've got the three of swords here there's a there's a heartbreak here there's you're, you know you're in pain about something here that you're trying to make a decision on which i would say is a relationship that you're in at the moment taurus and you're not very happy again this isn't going to be for everybody but this message is going to resonate with some of you there. There's a judgment coming in here. I think you've been stuck in a situation for a long time. And I think you've either put yourself in this position with the hanged man. And it's as if you've been waiting for someone or something to come along with the judgment and get you out of this situation. You can see here the woman is finally freeing herself from something here. Hmm. Either somebody has put you out in the timeout chair, <coughs> Taurus, or you've just put yourself, you felt stuck in this situation. I think you've been in this situation for too long. <coughs> you, you felt stuck. It could, it could be with a, a job that you feel that you can't leave due to money. But 
relationship side of, side of things here. There's something you're, you're freeing yourself from here. <clears throat> There's a lot of pain here in the past. There's been a lot of pain with this connection that you've got with somebody. And you feel you can't leave it. Which hence the hanged man position here that you've been stuck in for some time. But with a judgment card, someone, you or somebody is going to be making a decision where you're going to be released from this. And when you're released, we've got the Empress here. Which is somebody who is birthing new ideas. Um, really is nurturing and taking care of themselves. We can see the moon there in the background here. It's like Mother Earth, nature. She's really taking care of herself and she's saying, I don't need anybody else. I'm going to concentrate on me now. And below that is the Two of Cups, which is like the Soulmate card. It could be that you're either moving on, you finally decided to be with somebody that you've got feelings for for a long time. And we've got the Sun card, which means, it, you know, it's a, one of the most harmonious cards in the tarot deck here. And the King of Cups, which is somebody who, you know, is very, wears their heart on their sleeve and is very loving. It's as if you're moving towards the sunshine. You're moving out of this, <clears throat> this kind of relationship that's been... very hard on you whatever it is it's 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 taken its toll on you <clears throat> and I feel you're finally getting out of the situation into a new situation a new a new chapter in your life with somebody who you connect with on a much more emotional level here it's going to bring you happiness and if you remember we had the queen of wands at the, at the bottom of the deck here and below that we've got the king of pentacles here and below that we've got the ten of pentacles here i mean this is just like the perfect the perfect home life here with somebody you're moving on i feel you're moving on to somebody who makes you very happy taurus <clears throat> but let's dive a little deeper into your reading and let's start to clarify to see a little bit more in depth on these cards here so let's clarify the eight of swords let's clarify the eight of swords please let's clarify the eight of swords expectation it's as if you're waiting for somebody to take you out of this situation here thief Mm. you feel you've lost time with this person you feel you've wasted your time with either a connection or a job you feel that you've wasted time if you see in this card here it's thief and this guy is not keeping an eye you know he's got his eye on something he shouldn't really and this um little street urchin is uh just about to swipe his um watch there his pocket watch and he's unaware of it for me this card is is where you've lost time you know time's been stolen from you and you're never going to get that back and i think that in a connection that you were in or that you are in you feel you need to make a choice as much as it's as it could be really difficult you need to make a choice because you're not going to get back your time that you're wasting maybe on being stuck in a connection you're not happy in there's happiness here but it's not where you're at at the moment or it's not where you where you were and you're moving into happier times with somebody else <clears throat> this card wants to come out so yeah, there's a change coming here. And I would say it's a change where you're moving on to something much better for your heart chakra, for your your inner peace, you know, for your inner happiness. Let's clarify 
the two of cups yeah new pathways coming with somebody here you're going to start a new life with somebody here let's clarify the king of cups clarify the king of cups please privileged lady I think whoever you're going towards or you're going to be in a connection with sees you as their perfect soulmate here. They see you as their dream lover, you know, their dream person here. Let's clarify the Three of Swords, please. Rain now. Yes, yeah, is moving away from somebody that you're not entirely, but you're not happy with them. Let's clarify the main mail again, please. Official person. It could be your husband, your wife. It's somebody maybe official in your life. And this is why you are so undecided, because it's going to mean you know, a, a big change in your life, Taurus. Let's clarify the privileged lady. Let's clarify the privileged lady. Unexpected income. And again, marriage. Mm. Yeah, what's on the bottom of the deck? Let's have a look. Message of concern. I think maybe your friends and family are not going to maybe agree with this decision that you're going to make, but I think you're making it for your own inner peace, your own happiness. And I feel that it is maybe leaving somebody else to be with someone who could even be better off, and it could be it could be in another country as well with the sun card there, but it's going to bring you... For, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. There's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of being stuck in the past here with these cards. You know, you haven't moved. You haven't. It's as if you've been stuck in a time warp. You haven't been able to move, Taurus. You've just been going groundhog day every day. And that could have been for a number of years here. And now finally you're going to take the decision. Justice is coming in. Judgment is coming in, sorry, and you're going to make the decision to get yourself out of this hanged man position here. And with the judgment card, you know, judgment is to me, it's someone is being judged for either past karmic actions that they've done. But you're making the decision to make a change in your life and to move on to make yourself happy with someone that you are more on an emotional level with and this is i think this person here the king of cups and you're the queen of wands when you're with this person when you're in the past with the other relationship you're this person here Okay, I'm going to leave that there, Taurus. Let's move on to your angel messages for November. So we have a yes and no question, a timing question, and your angel guidance message for November 2022. Okay. And the yes and no question is unlikely... Perfect timing, that's a great card to have for the timing card, and opportunity. So there is an opportunity coming up. Whatever you've asked, the angels are saying at the beginning is unlikely. Well, it isn't a yes and it isn't a no, it's unlikely. But then we've got perfect timing, which is a great card, look at that. Perfect timing and there's an opportunity coming here. But opportunities don't last forever and I think you've got the you've got the opportunity coming up to be happy with somebody 
that's your reading for you Taurus I hope you've enjoyed your reading guys as I said please subscribe I will be uploading uploading new videos so if you want to know as soon as they are uploaded just click the little notification bell and as usual always believe in yourself follow your dreams guys stay blessed